Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you are already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I'm very excited to have Bake Eat Love on the channel again. Now this is a baking subscription that I opened for a few months a while back, but they have been kind enough to send me a couple of boxes boxes for review. Now this box is $37.99 per month. Obviously if you do a little bit of a longer subscription you get a little price break and if you use the code NOEL20 on a three month or longer subscription then you will actually get 20% off which I think is a pretty good deal. Now one of the reasons I love this subscription is because I just have really limited cupboard space. I don't even have really a pantry so it's not really a good idea for me to have tons of dry ingredients on hand and they give you the pre-measured dry ingredients and then ahead of time about a week ahead of time they'll send you an email that tells you all of the perishable items that you need to supply from your own kitchen so you can just add those items to your grocery list so that as soon as the box arrives you can get your baking on which I think is really great and then they always also include along with all of the ingredients and a really detailed uh, recipe card they include like a fun kitchen gadget or accessory which I think is really really fun and it gives you something to kind of hold on to so let's Let's go ahead and take a look at these boxes and then I will do my best in my kitchen to put them together and show you over on Instagram. I will leave a link to my Instagram account which is Maui underscore Noel in the description box below. Now this is the box that they sent me for December. I actually started filming and I realized there were a few missing ingredients but then when I talked to them I realized that the missing ingredients were really just the decorations. so I'm still going to do my best um, in terms of creating these awesome some sugar plum cupcakes so you can see the picture you guys the only things that are missing are what create those like white chocolate snowflakes on top so I'm just gonna still have those hopefully beautifully piped uh, frosting tops on my cupcake but here is a good idea of what the recipe card looks like. They really organize it nicely for you and it is on nice cardstock so if you want to hold on to these you definitely can. So it tells you exactly what you need from your kitchen in terms of ingredients and equipment and then it tells you exactly what's in the box and some of the items are um, not only pre-measured but actually put together in like you know you can just dump all of the contents into a bowl. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. And then they also tell you what your little free gift is. They even tell us that what the uh, featured ingredient is and that's another Another feature of this box that's fun often there's kind of a specialty ingredient um, so while you can go ahead and use all of the measurements because they do give them to you so you can replicate the recipe even without the box if you really love it um, they do tell you what the featured ingredient in this case is and it's plum extract so it says plums are grown on every continent except Antarctica. While the pl color plum was named after the fruit, there are also red, green, white, and yellow varieties. So fun, little fun fact to have. Um, but it just, like I said, it, it even breaks it up. Like it tells you what ingredients go into the brownies, what are the cupcakes, what ingredients go into the frosting, and what ingredients go into the decoration. And that's how I was able to uh, figure out that the only items really missing from mine were the sprinkles and the white melting wafers that are for the snowflakes. So I'll just be without the snowflakes. Then on the back side, you've got this detailed like directions, but they, they really highlight the individual items. All of the uh, ingredients are actually labeled, makes it super duper easy. And then they even give you like a little pro tip. I know there's videos and tutorials on their website as well if you get a little bit stuck, which is great. I actually used to bake a lot, so I don't really consider myself necessarily a novice baker. Just for this point in my life, I think it's really fun to get to try out new recipes. And this is a really good, quick and easy way to do it for sure. So um, for example, it even reminds you, you know, to preheat your oven, which is like a crucial step that I feel like sometimes we forget, um, but it'll just tell you. So like in this bag, it's even labeled. It tells you that this is the toppings and um, they even include things like the wax paper that you can use. They have, um, let's see what else. This is obviously what's gonna give it that beautiful purple color, but this has a couple of different ingredients in here besides the food coloring. But for example, you can see here's C. It's just labeled as C, and we even have our like piping bags so I can try to make those beautiful frosting swirls. So that was all of the toppings. And then we also have our cupcake mix, you can see. And then I just wanted to show you guys, it's kind of the same idea, right? We've got like all the labeled bags and it will say, you know, like 
Add bag A to the melted butter and stir with whisk until smooth. So again, really easy directions. This would be a great box to open and do the recipe with your kids for sure. It's a little bit like, you know, a little bit more involved, but I think it's great in terms of teaching them some kitchen skills. But they even provided these beautiful cupcake liners. So this recipe, you actually put these on top of a baking sheet. You don't actually put them into a cupcake tin, which again, I think is great for people who have very limited kitchen kitchen space. I do actually have a cupcake tin, but I could see if you lived in a really small apartment where you might not have those kinds of things in, in your kitchen. So it's nice that they gave us this uh, these cupcake liners, which have a little bit more shape to them. So you can just use them without having to have a cupcake tin. So that's really nice. I'm probably going to try this very soon because I do feel like even though technically Christmas is over, it's still the holiday season. It's still really fun to have fresh baked goods in the house. And then it's great because I got this fun new whisk. So I do already have a whisk in my house, but I don't have one quite this size. So I'm kind of excited about it. And of course they even tell you how you can use it in this recipe. So this one's really pretty though. It's like a rubberized whisk. So it's a little bit more flexible and it's got a nice handle. So I love getting the kitchen gadgets. Sometimes they're like repeat items and sometimes they're like fun and new or just a different size than I didn't already have. So I'm excited about that recipe. Now I, there was a little like miscommunication because when I reached out to them, I didn't realize that it was just the toppings ingredients that were missing from my box. Box. So they were going to send it those replacements out to me, but they actually sold out of their December box. And I think that's kind of what happened. So instead they sent me like a whole nother box, you guys. So I have two recipes to try and I'm thrilled about it. Um, but I found out that it was not a replacement for December and it's not even the January recipe, which again, you guys sounds so, so good. They do announce their recipes like three months at a time. So you can kind of look and see if they sound like three recipes that you're going to want to try. This is like their fan favorite so this was actually what they did for their October box and I guess they um, actually repeat this every fall because people love it so so much and these sound awesome you guys chocolate lava cakes with caramel and pumpkin spice whipped cream so I love that they give us like an image right so it's almost like nailed it <laughs> like an image to aspire to and then you guys will have to judge me over on Instagram and see if I managed to do it so let's see what our like featured ingredient is it's pumpkin spice it says, 16 years ago, Starbucks came out with the pumpkin spice latte and Americans have been crazy for this spice blend ever since. PSL was almost FHL, but the creators decided fall harvest blend didn't make the cut. So can you imagine if we had like FHL stuff everywhere that just doesn't roll off the tongue like PSL does. Um, all right, so it tells us all the ingredients again that I would need. So it looks like for this one, I have to get some cooking spray, got that. Butter, got that. Eggs, got that. The only thing that I have to uh, get for the caramel sauce and whipped cream is some heavy cream. That's one of those things that I don't necessarily have in my, in my fridge all the time. And then it looks like our free gift for this one is a silicone mini mitt. So I'll have to like find that in here. But I won't take too much time, you guys, to show you. But again, I do like how they separate it. Here's my bag of toppings, and there's some individual bags in there. I can see the little caramel squares. Here is my lava cake mix with a bunch of like chocolate chips and stuff in there. I'm so excited about that. I really hope these come out good because I love me a chocolate lava cake. I've never attempted to make my own. Um, and here is our little like mini mitt, and it's so like squishy. It's so fun. It looks like a little beak. It's even brand Branded Bake Eat Love, which I think is actually kind of cute. So it's so cute, you guys. So I guess you use this to like take things out of the oven, I'm guessing, and or like just to get a better grip on things, but that is so adorable. So that's a great little kitchen gadget to have. And I'm very curious to see if they tell us like how to use it here in this recipe. I'm not sure if it actually uh, shows up in the recipe or not, but it does look like something I should be able to do. It says that we uh, you prep each muffin pan cup with cooking spray so I'm wondering if the muffin pan the muffin pans are in here somewhere hopefully they are because I don't think I have muffin pans in my house um, or maybe it's like you have to have a muffin pan I do actually have a muffin pan as well as a cupcake pan but hopefully I can use one or the other and figure out which one is the right size so let's see it does say that I do need a muffin pan luckily I have a muffin pan but again that's something that you could go out and, and purchase or even have sent to your house like within a couple of days to get you going. So we'll see you guys. It says, you know, you have to like cook the lava cakes, but the center has to stay just a little bit jiggly. So you get that ooey gooey goodness in the middle. 
we'll see we'll see and we'll see how well I do at like photographing it too sometimes sometimes I love food photography and sometimes it's like the hardest thing to like make something brown look good um let me know what you guys thought about this box if this sounds like something that would appeal to you I know some of you guys are probably super bakers that come up with your own recipes on the fly and some of you might be like me where you want to try some different things learn a few more skills maybe like have some new recipes in your repertoire and this is a really like I said easy way to do it where you have just the right amount of ingredients if that's the case definitely check it out I think the next three months look really delicious definitely worth using that coupon code if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing if not over on Instagram where I'll show you how I did all right you guys